Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 15th of April, 2023. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is key to effective praying in the Spirit. The Bible says, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Ghost said, separate now for me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them, Acts 13, 2, in the Amplified. Thought for the day, praying in tongues when you are deeply rooted in iniquity is just an abomination. It's been confirmed that praying in the Spirit is one way to pray effectively. Now, what are the keys to effective praying in the Spirit? Number one is absolute surrender to the will of God. If you want to pray in the Spirit and see results, you must be absolutely surrendered to the will of God. God will not struggle with man. Genesis 6.3 A strong-willed person cannot pray effectively in the Holy Ghost. People who clearly know what God wants them to do and they go ahead and do another thing cannot succeed with God. The Holy Spirit is likened to a gentle dove. He would not force you to do what you do not want to do. So you must be absolutely surrendered to the will of God in order to pray effectively in the Spirit. Number two is a lifestyle of worship. The Holy Spirit thrives in the atmosphere of worship. Acts 13.2 Number three, it's a lifestyle of holiness. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of holiness. He is holy before he is spirit. His holiness is the most significant part about him. The Holy Spirit moves more in holy vessels. Praying in tongues when you are deeply rooted in iniquity is an abomination. When we pray in tongues and you are in sin, do you know what you are doing? You may be reporting yourself to God in the spirit. You may actually be saying something like, Lord, I stole somebody's belonging yesterday, or I do not even know why I'm not praying now, or I went out with somebody yesterday and we committed immorality, or I drank alcohol, I also visited a bad website yesterday, and so on and so forth. So this this breakthrough that is coming i'm not qualified for it yet so speaking in tongues i'm telling god you're reporting to god while in sin it's just you're just indicting it's an indictment on yourself therefore beloved embrace the lifestyle of the spirit and you will enjoy his ministry remember this speaking in tongues when you are deeply rooted in iniquity is an abomination. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to pray in the spirit always. Number two, pray in submission or surrender to God with worship and in holiness. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask for the grace to pray in the spirit always. I receive the grace to surrender to you and live a lifestyle of worship. Oh Lord, in Jesus name, praise the Lord. For further understanding, you might want to get the message, Prayer Boosters. We're reading Ezra chapter 4 and 5 and 6 today. Did you know that elephants communicate with their head, heads or in between heads many kilometers away by stamping their foot and making sounds too low for the human ears to perceive? Amazing. God bless you. In Jesus name I'd like to pray for you today you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life simply pray this after me say Lord Jesus thank you for dying for my sins I know I'm a sinner I need your help please come into my life be the Lord of my life wash away all my sins make me a new person from today I turn my back on sin I will live to please the Lord in Jesus name congratulations you prayed that and you meant it and I know that the Lord has heard and answered in Jesus name Amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to pray for you today before I close and before I make a prophetic declaration on you. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday and may God cause his face to shine on you in Jesus name. God bless you. I declare today receive the grace to experience breakthroughs in the spirit at the place of prayer in Jesus name. God bless you.